Hello, my name is Jess. We are at Steve Maxwell's drum shop in Manhattan, and today I'm going to talk about the new Craviato snare drums that were unveiled at NAMM 2011. The uh, drums and the snare drums uh, feature a new baseball bat edge. Um, we have here a 5.5 by 14 maple drum, and uh, in Drum Magazine they recently reviewed one of these snare drums. Uh, it was a maple, poplar maple drum and uh, got very favorable, favorable reviews, and uh, we think these are fantastic as well. I'm going to talk a little bit about the concept behind the drum and uh, the sound uh, as well. Basically, uh, we have uh, a drum here that has a very rounded edge, much like some of the vintage drums from the 30s, 40s, 50s, and sometimes 60s. Um, these uh, employ an edge that is rounded both on the outside and the inside of the drum, uh, kind of similar to a Slingerland edge, and what this does is it transfers a little more of the energy of the drum head into the shell. It also dries the drum out quite a bit. Um, a lot of the high end that you uh, hear in a drum comes from the edge, and because there's a lot more contact of the drum head to the drum shell, you've eliminated some of the high, sometimes unwanted overtones that, uh, that you hear in a snare drum. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drum head off and we can take a, take a peek here and uh, we, can, we can look at the, uh, the edges. Alright, we're going to take the head off, take a look at this edge. As you can see, the edge is quite rounded uh, on the outside and also the inside. Traditionally, um, or uh, modern drum uh, edges on snare drums and tom-toms and bass drums tend to either be 30 degrees or 45. So with this, you're going to get a very dry, um, woody sound out of this edge that is reminiscent of vintage uh, Slingerlands, Radio Kings, um, and uh, some of the Ludwig things, um, any kind of uh, vintage drum maybe from the 30s or 40s. The story goes that uh, Ronnie Venucci was in the studio with a producer and um, the producer was looking for a little more vintage uh, or drier sound. So Johnny uh, and Ronnie got together and came up with the baseball bat edge. This is the only snare drum we have currently in New York. We will have more of them on the way. We're going to have a six and a half mahogany, a five and a half maple, a five and a half walnut, and a six and a half cherry all coming to the New York store. These are all snare drums. And then in the Illinois store, we'll have a six and a half mahogany and a five and a half maple. And uh, you'll find these at uh, um, New York and Illinois, uh, Steve Maxwell's drum shop. We've got the drum head back on the Craviato Baseball Bat Edge snare drum, and we're going to take her for a spin. Hopefully this will give you an idea about the sound quality of the drum. So. drum is that it is dry, it's got the vintage sound, but it's very articulate and still very sensitive. Captures the best qualities of all the old stuff in the sense that it's got a lot of character, it's unique, but it also has the sensitivity and the precision, both in tuning and also the quality of sound that you uh, people love to hear in modern drums. Uh, thumbs up from Maxwell's.